So you just had your knee replacement and you're lying there in the recovery room. There are already things that you can do to ensure that you're getting off on the right track right after your knee replacement. So make sure you watch this video till the end. I'm going to tell you what are the three movements that you can do right off the bat right after your knee replacement and what is one movement that you should be doing but sometimes in my experience patients don't get told about it so let's make sure you know all those things that you have to do right off the bat so the first exercise that i want you to do right after your knee replacement and this can be done like immediately right after as soon as you're in the recovery room this is safe enough to be done so the first one i want you to do is the quad sets if you're comfortable you can have a towel roll under the heel if not then even without it so what i want you to do is put your leg down keep your knee as straight as you can and you start tightening this muscle the easier way to do it is without the towel roll first just on the bed tighten this muscle here you contract this pushing your knee down it will help prevent that extension lag and it will help activate your quads then if you can progress if you're comfortable put the towel roll there and you have more space you can even have better extension and you can activate your quads all right and then you hold it for five seconds then you relax you can do it multiple times through the day 10 15 reps each time multiple times in a day the second exercise that is perfectly safe to do right from day one is the hamstring set so now this you'll bend your knee a little bit right create a little bit of space there and you're going to push your heel down on the bed when you push your heel onto the bed you're going to be bending your knee a little bit more but avoid bending it too far up when you go up push the heel down and you're going to feel the hamstrings the muscle the back of your thigh you're going to feel that tighten up or you're going to feel that harden that means you're contracting your hamstrings so bend push down hold it five seconds hold relax you repeat that 10 to 15 repetitions and you repeat that multiple times throughout the day now the third exercise that is safe enough to do right from day one is the hill slides now some hospitals or some insurance companies they cover the cpm machine some hospitals they provide cpm machines for their patients but more and more at least here in the states more and more hospitals and insurance companies are not covering that anymore are not providing the cpm machines to the patients cpm machine is a continuous passive movement machine so what it does you put it under your leg and the machine is going to bend your knee and straighten it bend it and straighten it it's going to keep doing that cycle for several hours you put it on several hours through the day each day that helps a lot with the patients in terms of getting that range of motion and preventing contracture now why is it that the insurance companies are not covering that anymore and then also the hospitals because the insurance company don't cover it they're not providing it to the patients anymore why is that it's because the insurance companies are saying that there are studies that say it's not effective but here's the thing if you search you google hard enough you're gonna find something that will support whatever you believe in then you can try that on your own if you don't believe me you can research something you're always going to have studies or some or, or some some article that will say one thing and there's always going to be something that says the other question is which is true or not you won't really be able to tell in my experience early mobilization is key be it using a machine or in this case you have to do it on your own so if you don't have access to a cpm machine early mobilization for your knees very important so you do your heel slides now how do we do that you can use a stretch strap like this or you can leash use a leash or a bath towel so you're going to go like this of course if let's say you just had the knee replacement you won't be able to bend it like that you may have to just go like this or have someone help you put the loop onto your foot try to just so you can see try to bend the knee and then pull this keep pulling the strap or your belt or a bath towel keep pulling it your goal is to get your heel to go to as close to your buttocks as possible and then let's say you reach up to here you hold it for five seconds down and then again 
hold it five seconds down and you're gonna notice as you keep doing it you're gonna have better flexion your heel is gonna get closer and closer to your buttock area yes at the beginning it's gonna be painful but you know what right after your surgery you still have the anesthesia that's actually the best time to start doing it because you don't really feel that much pain and they still give you a lot of uh, they still give you narcotics at that time which later on they will take that away so it's great to take advantage of that now don't pull too hard of course because you have to make sure you have to remember that you have the stitches there they're still fresh but usually they have the bandage there so it should be supported and it's not gonna it's not gonna open up like in a horror movie i tell my patients that all the time it's not gonna open up and then your joint or blood's gonna go gushing out no it's not and spurting out no it's not gonna happen all right but do it gently and then like a cpm machine because if it's bending it for many hours in a day when you're doing heel slides you won't be able to do it that many hours in a day but keep doing the repetition and then keep doing it multiple times in a day so that way if the machine is not there you're still doing it manually that is still better than nothing right so let's make sure you start bending that knee start doing those heel slides and that's safe enough to do right from day one now if you're wondering where you can get a stretch trap like this i included the link to the stretch trap in the description below now what is the bonus movement that i want you to do right after your knee replacement okay this should be part of your pre-op instructions already before you had your knee replacement because this is very very important what movement is that it's the ankle pumps very basic very simple but it is very important also because it will prevent you from having blood clot right after your knee replacement okay so how do you do your ankle pumping it's as simple as pointing your foot up and down as much as you can it's just not like this though go up as much as you can down as much as you can right so up and down 15 20 repetitions 30 repetitions just keep going and then so you can even go side to side but the most important part there is the up and down because as you notice when you go up and down your calves gonna start contracting in and relaxing so the it's pumping and that's why it's called ankle pumping because you're basically pumping the blood going back into the system so you're moving the blood through the circulation and that's important because as the blood keep flowing you decrease your chance of having blood clots on on your calves and that is a very dangerous uh, situation if you do develop that because you're going to be immobilized for quite a bit or you're not going to be as active right after the surgery so it's very important to do this the first couple of weeks after the surgery like i said usually this should be mentioned already but in my experience i have patients who were not even told about that and then when they come in for physical therapy some of them they develop blood clots and we're wondering why and some of them are on blood thinners more most of them are on blood thinners but they still develop that and that is the one of the most common reason i think is it's because they were not doing the ankle pumping or maybe they were taught but it wasn't stress enough to them that it's very important and the patients they take it for granted they don't do it and then they start having problems with blood clots later on so make sure as simple as it seems it's a very basic movement make sure you do it if you're watching this and you just had a knee replacement i hope you listen to my instructions and i highly recommend doing these movements so that you'll be off to a great start right after your surgery thank you very much for your time thank you very much for watching this video and please share this with your loved ones especially the ones who just had their knee replacement so they will they will know what to do right off the start right from the start and they will feel comfortable doing it they will not think that they might be harming the surgery or something bad might happen and don't forget to click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you can get alerted once we release our new video next week all right so go and watch my next video on knee replacements and thank you very much i appreciate you